Welcome to the Mega Projects channel, where we share information about incredible projects around the world. Make sure to stay updated, informed, and enlightened by pressing the subscribe button and the notification icon, and ensure to watch each video to the end. Have you heard of the world's most incredible bridges? They are parts of the mega projects you should know about. You could take a ride around any of these bridges while you admire the magnificence of these architectural structures. The Vasco da Gama Bridge is first on the list. Located in Lisbon, Portugal is a cable-stayed bridge flanked by viaducts spanning the Tagus River. The bridge covers a distance of approximately 17 kilometers. It is the second longest bridge in Europe. It was constructed to relieve traffic congestion on the 25 de Obro Bridge in Lisbon, connecting the country's northern and southern areas and allowing easy access to Spain and the Algarve area. The $1.1 billion project was divided into four sections, each of which was built by a different company and overseen by a separate consortium. There were up to 3,300 workers simultaneously on the project. It took about three years to complete this mega project for $1.1 billion on the 29th of March 1998. The bridge was open to traffic. The bridge was built to resist wind speeds of up to 250 kilometers per hour and an expected lifespan of 120 years. The Vasco da Gama Bridge is built on two piers with a diameter of 2.2 meter and 1.7, respectively, with foundations penetrating 95 meter below sea level. It won the first prize for civil engineering at the Hispano-American Architecture and Civil Engineering Biennial in Madrid in 2000, with distinctive architecture designed to resist earthquakes 4.5 times more powerful than the building resistance standards in Lisbon. Portugal is a vital earthquake zone, as proven by the earthquake of 1755, which remains the largest one known to date. So the Vasco da Gama Bridge can resist an earthquake that is 4.5 times greater than that of 1755, which makes the bridge one of the ultimate projects ever constructed. Confederation Bridge The bridge is a two-lane bridge that connects Borden Carleton, Prince Edward Island, and Cape Germain, New Brunswick, in Canada. It is a multi-span balanced cantilever bridge with a post-tension concrete box girder structure. Due to its incredible length, it put engineers' talent and imagination to the test. They had to design a 13-kilometer-long layup that could endure the North Berlin Strait's brutal winters, ice flows, and high winds, which brought about the curvy design added as a safety feature to reinforce its strength and ensure drivers remain focused and alert when crossing. The bridge was constructed from both ends toward the center. The curved bridge is 40 meter above sea level, with a 60-meter navigation span for ship traffic. The bridge is supported by 62 piers, with the 44 main piers spaced 250 meters apart. The bridge is 11 meters wide. It takes approximately 12 minutes to cross the bridge at a speed of 80 kilometers per hour. The precast components were built with durable high-grade concrete and reinforcing steel. The reinforced concrete construction was to withstand iceberg hits making the bridge the longest crossing over ice-covered water in the world. The bridge's lifespan is expected to be approximately 100 years. The bridge was built with the help of over 5,000 people at a cost of $1.3 billion. It took four years to complete the construction of this phenomenal bridge, and it was officially inaugurated on May 31, 1997. The Baluart Bicentennial Bridge the Balwart Bridge is built across the deep valley in the Sierra Madre Occidental Mountain region in North Mexico. The 403 meters tall bridge is the third highest cable state bridge in the world and the seventh highest bridge in the world. It is considered to be one of the world's giant bridges. The bridge's construction began in 2008, was completed in January 2012, and opened to traffic in late 2013. The bridge is part of a new route that connects northern Mexico's Atlantic and Pacific coasts, and it has substantially shortened the travel time between Durango and Mazatlan. The bridge is a four-lane highway with a width of 20 meters and a length of 1,124 meters, supported at a height of 403 meters above the Baluart Riverbed by 12 piers, two of which are massive towers that are significantly taller than the Eiffel Tower. 
The construction of the Ballard Bridge cost $1.44 billion. The bridge is officially called the Ballard Bicentennial Bridge. Bicentennial refers to the 200th anniversary of Mexico's independence from Spain in 1810. Fourth Bridge over the Panama Canal Panama City is undergoing a massive road network upgrade that includes both current infrastructure adaptation and the construction of a new cable state bridge across the Panama Canal, as well as new road links between the city and the west side of the canal. Although still at the early stage of construction, the main bridge, which will be three kilometers long, will increase traffic and freight transport capacity, while also improving vessel navigation along the canal. It will include a 540-meter main span, two inverted Y-shaped towers, and an 80-meter height over the navigation channel. The $1.4 billion bridge will be built with the latest bridge design and construction technologies and will have an expected lifespan of 100 years. The multimodal crossing will have six lanes of traffic, three in each direction, two-way rail tracks that will connect to Panama's projected Metro Line 3, and a pedestrian route. A high-end restaurant will be located beneath the superstructure, and an observation deck will be found at the top of the tower. Do you know why this will be a huge and complex project? Cause, it's going to be constructed over an international shipping channel. Well, let's keep our fingers crossed in anticipation. Portman Bridge the Portman Bridge is a 10-lane cable state bridge completed in 2012 after a five-year construction period. It is currently the longest cable state bridge in North America and the second longest bridge in the world. The old steel arch bridge that spans the Fraser River was replaced by a cable state bridge that connects Coquitlam and Surrey in British Columbia near Vancouver. The old bridge was demolished by reverse construction when the new bridge was opened to traffic. It was the most expensive highway project in Canada at the time of its construction, at $2.46 billion. The new bridge is 2.02 kilometers long up to 65 meters wide and has a 42-meter clearance above the river's peak water level. The towers are 7 to 5 meters high above deck level, with a total height of 163 meters from the footing. The primary 470 meters span between the towers is the longest in the world. Ohio River Bridges Project One of the most remarkable highway upgrade projects in the United States is the Ohio River Bridges East End Crossing Project. The Indiana Department of Transportation and the Kentucky Transportation Cabinet launched the Ohio River Major Investment Study to address current and future travel across the Ohio River, and it is recommended that two new bridges be built to meet the region's cross-river transportation needs improve safety, and reduce traffic congestion. The project began in December 2012 and concluded in October 2016, with a total cost of $2.3 billion. It was a transportation project in the Louisville metropolitan area that involved the reconstruction of the Kennedy Interchange, popularly known as Spaghetti Junction, the completion of two new Ohio River bridges, and the reconstruction of the Interstate 65 ramps between Mohammed Ali Boulevard and downtown Louisville. The Abraham Lincoln Bridge was completed in 2015, and it runs parallel to the downstream John F. Kennedy Memorial Bridge. It presently carries six lanes of northbound I-65 traffic. The initial plans included pedestrian and bicycle lanes, but they were eventually scraped off. The existing I-65 Kennedy Memorial Bridge which has been functional since 1963, was also upgraded to add six southbound lanes. The Ohio River Bridges Project was designated as one of 13 projects of national importance by Congress. The project also included 100-plus highway bridges and a 1,700-foot hard rock tunnel, in addition to the two major bridges. Bar Bulger Motorway Located in Montenegro and has been under construction since 2015, However, it is expected to be open to the general public by the end of the year. The A1 Highway, also known as the Bar Bulger Highway, is a part of a more significant international project between Montenegro and Serbia that connects to Serbia's Belgrade Bar Highway. The highway will link Belgrade to Podgorica and Montenegro's largest seaport, Bar. The Bar Bulger Highway, which is 41 kilometers long 
and comprises 20 bridges and 16 tunnels, is considered a massive project. The project's difficulty stems from the fact that the mountainous topography makes construction difficult and increases the cost of construction, making it one of the most expensive highways in Europe. A total of $3.0 billion has been spent so far, with the project yet to be completed. The project intends to reduce travel time between Pagorica, Montenegro's capital, and the hilly north of the country. That's all I've got for today. Do not hesitate to share your thoughts with me in the comment section, and don't forget to turn on the notification bell to get future updates. See you next time!